Just before pandemic, um, I had followed on social media breakdown camp. Um, and then all through pandemic, I kind of followed all of those short like videos and kind of duet assignments that were being posted. And I thought, oh, this is really achievable. They're bite-sized and it's perfect for my level of kids who are very, very much the beginners. Um, and then it's perfect for me too, because I, I haven't been in this activity as a performer in more than a decade. Um, and so as they were releasing dates for student camps and things, I noticed one for the director's track and I thought, this is perfect for our staff. We need to bring the whole staff here. Um, everybody needs to learn it so that and so kind of taking off of that, if I'm asking my students to learn, I have to be learning as well. I have to know what it feels like to be vulnerable when I'm learning a new skill. What does it feel like to be challenged? Um, and I think the farther removed you are from formal education, um, the less you remember that feeling of vulnerability as a learner. It's just something to put myself out of my regular routine to remind myself what a sixth grader feels like or what a kid on the first day of band camp feels like. And for me, this is very much that. You know, I'm asking them to drop and do a plie while they play this whole note. Okay, but I never did that as a performer. So what does it feel like when I'm asking them to do it? The small group forums were really, uh, really helpful for us as a little cohort. Um, it was so intimate and being able to um, bring a question to Michael and say like, this is what I've seen with my students. This, this is a problem that we're experiencing experiencing is this something common that you see and how, how would you fix this or how would you introduce it differently to avoid that altogether um, and then having those um, quick little tidbits that you can bring back it's like having a, you know a master class where you would bring in you know a master teacher with your concert band this isn't really any different it's more conversational and it's more intimate and so it was just this really great um, collaborative environment with all of the people in our cohort I would say that even if you are just entertaining the thought of a thought of coming, you should do it. You know, we don't hesitate to spend hundreds and thousands of dollars to bring the best clinicians in to work with us, to improve our conducting, to listen to our tapes, to give us feedback on what our rehearsals sound like um, in order to give our students the best education. This is no different. This is just your body rehearsal rather than your ear rehearsal. Um, and, you know, I would say that you already have so much of this inherently in you. Um, you are a musician, and so all of that back knowledge of what um, music sounds like, you probably already know what it should look like, and so this is just helping you to manifest that.